Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my favourite books. My first favourite is Manifest Your Destiny by Wayne Dyer and I love Wayne Dyer. I love all his books but that's my favourite one. I really enjoyed reading about manifesting. It's a little bit like The Secret but I think um, a bit more scientific almost. I don't know. She was pretty scientific too but I just loved it. My second favourite book is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's just common sense stuff, but I really enjoyed it. My third favorite book is Marie Kondo, The Magic of Tidying Up. Before I read her book, I tried to tidy up a few times and reading books on it, kept buying books on it and still not tidying up. But when I read hers, I did it. And the thing I think that made me do it was her saying that you didn't have to buy anything new to tidy up. You know, like new things to clean them all the way into. You could just tidy up and throw stuff out and put it in the shoebox if you have to. The important things you organize it, not that you buy things to make it look good. And I think that really helped me because then I realized I could just throw stuff out. So I did <laughs> throw a lot of stuff out. I probably threw about 30% of the things in my house out. So it was a good idea, I think. And then the next book, which I really like is Flirting with Finance, which is my book. It's not a plug for it because you can't buy it anymore, but I really enjoyed writing it. I also read another book, which um, I'll see if I can get you for a download. It's as free. It's just the one I wrote with my friend. It was about how to stay single. It was a dating guide and it was just a joke. We wrote it, my friend and I. And it, um, <laughs> by the end of, by the time I'd finished writing it, I was married and my friend had a boyfriend. So it just, it doesn't work, put it that way. But we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, my next favorite book is Barbara Sher, and I've got it here. I could do anything if only I knew what it was. The thing I really liked about this book was that she asked you a whole lot of questions, things that you probably don't even think of yourself. And when you do you answer the questions, you work out for yourself what it is you really want to do. And I think once you know what you want to do, it just sends you on that path that makes your life so much easier. <laughs> A similar book, but different again, this is just about money, it's called The Seven Stages of Money Maturity. This book is, I just found so interesting again, because it asked me questions that I'd never thought of before about money and my attitude towards it and goal setting and all this sort of thing. And I don't think I'd really set goals that much before I read that book. And that book made me really work out what it was that I wanted, that I didn't even know that I wanted. And I think, that's both those books, Barbara Scherz and Seven Stage of Money Maturity, really, the questions in there really did make me think. I don't know if it will have the same effect on you, but it really, really helped me. And then my favourite, my favourite book of all, of course, is The Art of Loving by Eric Fromm. And I don't have that either because I've given it away so many times. And the thing I really like most about it is it tells you what love is. It's a really small book. It's only about 60 pages but I've never before read about it and understood what it was. And after I read that book about, I think I read it about 15 years ago, it just made my life so much better. And I think that could be something that might be of interest to other people too. Anyway, thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm also on Instagram, if you can follow me on Instagram. Thanks, bye.